evening students today we will start with chapter 7a laws of reflection and formation of image by plane mirror so first thing is reflection before going into reflection uh, you know what are luminous objects and what are non luminous objects right luminous objects are those which can emit light of their own for example natural source we have sun artificial source like led torch etc what about the non luminous objects those objects can never emit light of their own then how can we see those objects we can see those objects when light from the luminous objects fall on them and reflect back to our eyes i can see the board because the light falls on the surface of the board and reflects to my eyes that is why this reflection phenomena enables us to see any objects around us so basically reflection is when light falls on a certain surface and bounces back to the same medium in which the light was initially traveling that is a reflection of light now for this reflection regular and diffused reflection you have learned this in class 7 also what is regular reflection suppose you have a smooth surface okay for example plane mirror light rays fall and they are reflected back as parallel beam of light rays this is regular reflection but when the surface is uneven thus when the light rays now falls they get scattered they are not reflected back as parallel beam of light rays because the surface is uneven so can you give me an example of diffused reflection the rough surface for example the wavy water surface so you may have an idea that laws of reflection is followed for regular reflection and it is not followed for diffused reflection but that is wrong it is follow laws of reflection are followed always in case of regular as well as diffused why does it seem to us that it's not following because actually laws of reflection is followed for every point individually here all the points lie on the same straight line that is why they are reflected as a parallel beam of light rays but in this case see for each point if you notice laws of reflection are followed for each point laws of reflection follow since the surface is uneven so they are scattered throughout the to in every possible direction so this this kind of reflections enables us to see different objects for example the cinema screens they are made a bit rough so that the light rays are scattered throughout everywhere it's not that the ones who are sitting just in the front can see okay now i have mentioned laws of reflection what are the laws of reflection there are two laws of reflection laws of reflection so first one is okay before laws of reflection in fact let's just draw diagram of the different parts of the reflection of light say this is a surface on which light is falling incident ray this is the reflecting surface because when the light falls after striking this surface it gets reflected back to the same medium reflected ray incident ray what is this the perpendicular drawn the imaginary line drawn perpendicular to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence this is the point of incidence is the normal okay then this 
point source of light, it will give off light in every direction. We will just consider two ways. See, this one incident ray, ON is an incident ray, NM reflected ray. O N dash incident ray, N dash, M dash reflected ray. We are producing them backwards to get the image. O dash is the image. O is the object. O dash is the image. So that means if this is a plane mirror, say A B, A B is a plane mirror. So that means, can you see that this is a virtual image, actually they are not meeting but they are produced backwards so that they appear to meet at certain point. That happens in a plane mirror. Also you will find that the always object distance, that is the distance of the object, perpendicular distance obviously from the reflecting surface is the object distance that is equal to the image distance. So, if I give a name to this point, say P, OP is equal to O dash P. Always this equal to this. Okay, for a plane mirror. And you have a proof in your book, but for your exam, you don't need to learn this proof don't get the proofs. So, but still if you want, I can show you uh, in some of the video or in class also. If you want to know how we are getting this, actually they use the congruency of triangles to prove that this distance is equal to this distance. What about this one? This is an extended object. This was point object. O is a point object. In this case, AB is extended object. See, same thing which we have followed for O, that will be followed. Here I have shown only for A, but it is true for all the points lying in the line segment AB. See, for all the points it is true. Same, it will follow the same thing and ultimately we will get image like this. Because always we will find that the object distance equal to image distance. Object distance, image distance. For all the points it is true. And ultimately that is why we get laterally inverted image. We get laterally inverted image. In a plane mirror. What is lateral inversion? If I stand with my left hand in front of a plane mirror, you will find that as if the image is raising his or her right hand. So it's just get laterally inverted, not upside down. So this is that is the reason because the plane mirror follows this like object distance equal to image distance and also it gets an upright image. So obviously if it is uh, maintaining this uh, object distance and image distance and that is why you see it is getting laterally inverted. Otherwise it, it could have been like this. Okay. So basically then just let's jot down the points which comes under the characteristics of image formed by plane mirror. So see these are the characteristics of image formed by plane mirror. Virtual, upright image, laterally inverted and that is why this has some consequences also. You will find the letters of ambulance written in just the uh, reverse form so that when the driver who is in front of the ambulance sees the letters in the rear view mirror now this lateral inversion, this is true for plane mirror as well as the spherical mirrors also. Okay, so when the driver finds the, say our ambulance is behind. So if suppose the, it was written like this, driver would have noticed it in the laterally inverted form. 
but if it is already written, written in the naturally inverted form, then the driver who is in front of the ambulance in the rear view mirror will find the actual word ambulance, right? There are few letters also, you will find that, can you just tell me, obviously C for example, then B, all this will get laterally inverted, right? Because it has to maintain that image and object distance. If B was like this, see the object distance and image distance not same. Then for example, you have, uh, what about H? H will remain same because there are certain letters, for example H, A, M. These are basically symmetrical letters. Symmetrical letters means to just draw a vertical line. See, on both the sides they are same, identical. So, after lateral inversion, there is no change noticed. It remains the same. So even it is laterally inverted, it remains the same. A, M, P, okay. So this is about lateral, inver lateral inversion. Then object size equal to image size. Obviously when we stand in front of the plane mirror, we see ourselves as the same height. The image is of the same height, okay. Object distance equal to image distance. So, if there is a plane mirror, if object, this is an image, if object moves towards the mirror, d distance, image will also move towards the mirror, d distance. To maintain the object distance equal to image distance. Okay. And one thing I just forgot to mention that. considered as one side polished polished surface light will be incident this side is called uh, silver so as to provide a strong reflecting surface and a coat the but I mean so that the light will be reflected back and won't get transmitted throughout this because whenever light energy falls on any surface three things can happen okay absorption deflection some part will be reflected some part will be absorbed and some part will be transmitted opaque subject uh, opaque objects they transmit lesser amount of light energy. That is why they are opaque. We cannot see. If we keep any object behind any opaque object, we cannot see through them. But for transparent, we can see because they allow light to pass through them. Okay. So that is why this coated layer is used. And this silver surface, it also provides a strong reflecting, this one, the inner one. Strong reflecting surface for the plane mirror. It retraces its path. 
If light falls along the normal, it retraces its path because if I is zero, I obviously will be zero for the ray which is falling along the normal. This is the normal at the point of incidence. So if I is zero, R is zero. R is zero means angle between reflected ray and uh, normal is zero. So it will retrace its path. Okay, that's all for the theory part of 7a. Okay, we will resume with the remaining parts of chapter 7 and the numericals in the next video.